morning, a 12 year old student in Greenville County has died following a shooting inside of a middle school. And this morning, another 12 year old student is under arrest in connection with that shooting. A spokesperson for the victim's family identified him as Jamari Cortez Bonaparte Jackson. The spokesperson says the family is devastated by this tragedy and is asking for privacy right now. People gathered last night for a vigil across the street from Tanglewood Middle School. The group praying for everyone involved. And this morning, our Taggart Halk and Rashad Williams have more on what happened. The call came in around 12.30 Thursday afternoon from the Tanglewood Middle School resource officer. Law enforcement quickly on scene, securing the school, taking the suspect into custody. Officials say the shooting happened in the front part of the building. Greenville County Sheriff Hobart Lewis asking for prayers for those affected and praising the response. This is a terrible, terrible situation, uh, but the response from the men and women who serve this community is incredible, and my hat's off to them. Uh, they're the ones that put in the work. EMS. Uh, getting the, the victim out and rendering aid to him uh, as we arrived, uh, it's just incredible. Greenville County School Superintendent Dr. Burke Royster said anywhere from 25 to 40 buses took students from Tanglewood to Brookwood Church in Simpsonville, where parents and guardians picked them up, each bus with a police escort. As I think we would all look at this, it's a senseless tragedy. And unfortunately, one that occurs all too often in today's society uh, where people perhaps resort to violence. And, uh, and it has a lasting impact on all those that are in proximity to it. He too, complimentary of the response and protocols in place. We could not have had a better, a more rapid, a more professional, or a more in accordance with plan response by every agency and every entity that responded to this situation. In Greenville County, Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4. This boy had a gun and then he shot one boy uh, in his side. Officials say the shooting happened at the front part of the building and the victim identified as 12 year old Jamari Jackson. Law enforcement quickly on scene securing the school. The suspect, also 12 years old, was eventually taken into custody. You know, every police in Greenville County was there and ambulance. They running in with guns, not handguns, but rifles with the scope on them. Angela, the mother of Printasia, said she actually showed up to the school a little early for a 1230 meeting as things began to unfold. She later found herself with dozens and dozens of other parents with a sick feeling in their stomachs, not knowing if it was their child that was shot hoping to be able to pick up their kids at Brookwood Church in Simpsonville after nearly 40 buses transported them from the school to the church with a police escort. Brookwood Church was filled with hugs, tears, and an appreciation for being able to see the ones you love most. You don't know if your kid got shot or, you know, they, no. I mean, I was so terrified, I didn't know what to do. My heart was in my stomach, you know, because I couldn't find her. Nobody wouldn't tell me nothing. Other parents expressing the same emotions. But just glad to have my kids and able to just hold my arms around them. Michael has an eighth grader and a sixth grader that attend Tanglewood Middle School. He and Angela say after being reunited with their kids, it gave them a different perspective to offer other parents. No disrespect, teach your kids, teach your kids not to be bullies and, you know, try to teach them, protect them the best way you can. When they come to you with a problem, Listen, all you got to do is listen, even if you can do something about it or not, just listen. You know, it might save a life. Okay, that was Rashad Williams reporting there, and because of the age of the student arrested in this shooting, his name has not been released.